Hi and welcome back. In this video, I want to show you how to use the Roland Cloud version of the TR-808 plugin. This is an emulation of the famous TR-808 drum machine or rhythm composer. I'll open the user interface. I already have it on a track. You install it like any other instrument plugin. It does take a little while to open. I found that it does that on any DAW that I've tried it on. And when it first comes up, it looks like a TR-808 drum machine with all the buttons that you can press to hear the different sounds. If you click start, it will start playing patterns. And if you click the stop button, it will stop playing the patterns. Now the way a TR-808 is set up is that it has what's called a pattern and then variations on that pattern. And there are eight variations. So if we wanted to play pattern A, then we could click on A. It will then cycle through all of these variations, which are all different setups of the step sequencer. Now, if you want it to work like the original hardware where there's only two, then you can turn off some of these by clicking Shift, and it will deselect some of them. In this mode here, it will just alternate between the A and B variation when I hit play. Now the really cool thing is you can drag these patterns out onto a normal track. So if I just take the A and start dragging, and then I drop, it will actually put it right into waveform. And if I drag the B variation, I can drag that in as well. And now I have my two bars. Now, if I start to play back now, it will actually sync to waveform. But the problem is it's actually playing the sounds while it's also playing patterns. To get around this, here's one of the tricks, one of the most important things about this video, is that if you want to use this as a normal instrument, then you want to set the preset to something that's a blank preset so it doesn't play any patterns in the background. To do that, just go to the second bank and then choose a blank preset. Now I have renamed this to blank, but you could choose any of these presets that have not been yet set up. After you've done that, then you can play back And now we are playing from the MIDI clips that we just dragged in. Now the user interface for this is pretty big, but there's some options that you can use to change that. The first option is to go to the compact layout, which gives you a much smaller view, which is kind of nice when you're working on it in your digital audio workstation. You can also click option and change the zoom level and make it a little bit smaller. Once it gets a little bit too small, it gets hard to see. So I do like this 150 when I'm actually working with it. So the layout of this is such that it works really well if you're using step clips. So I'm going to delete these patterns that I put in and just bring in a blank step clip. We'll shorten that up. And now we're ready to program our step clip. Turn off the velocity lane. And we have our kick drum. Let's just try putting the kick drum in in a few of these places here. Now because this is an emulation of the actual machine, we can manipulate these sounds. You could even automate these sounds if you want. Let's put in a few snares here and change the snare sound.
Now if you want to mix it or have a little bit more control over the sounds and the placement of the sounds, then there's this panel button right here. If you click panel, then you can see you've got gain controls and pan controls for all of the different sounds. And some of the sounds you can tune, the kick drum we can tune on this page. And then back on the main page, we have for the bass drum or the kick drum, we have a decay. So historically, the 808 has this really long, booming kick sound, but here we can tighten that up if we'd like. You can also hear that the tone can be manipulated by turning this up. It adds a little more punch to the kick drum and then it's much more dull as you turn that tone down. So when I loaded my blank pattern, I showed you that I had changed the name to call it blank and you could put that anywhere you want and you do that under the list control. So if we do list, it brings up all of the banks and here is the one I chose 33 which was not pre-programmed you just click rename on one of these empty spots and I put in blank right here so that's how I got that set up so another thing you can do is drag these in as audio so let's go back and load a preset and we'll change the kit now the kit has a variety of presets and these are really just variations of settings for all of these knobs and switches that you have here. They're not actually loading different samples or things like that. It's just presets of the existing kits. So we'll play back here. Turn up the accent a little bit. Now, if we want to get this in audio, we just change the option right here. Go to Option, Drag and Drop Pattern as Audio. We just drag it in and drop it on a track. And now we have audio. Solo this. It's just a really great way to quickly create an 808 drum machine type loop. We can also experiment with this by choosing different kits. I'll solo this track. If you get something you kind of like, just drag that over and drop it on here. And now you've got another loop. Now, if you want to go deeper with this, there's quite a bit of additional programming you can do with this with its own built-in sequencer. To get into that, you click the edit right here and you have a full step sequencer that's built in where you can see the programming of each of the steps. You can accent certain steps. You can also put in weaker beats for more realistic sounds. If you notice the closed hi-hat here has a variety of weak beats on it. We can also solo these individual instruments here. If you wanted to add another hi-hat, you just click on these steps. If you want to put in a weak beat, you hold shift as you click or you can turn on the weak beat programming and then add several of them and then turn that back off. What's even cooler, especially with hi-hats, is that there are sub-step styles. So if we go into the sub-step style, go to type two, that will give us 
three notes, it will chop that into a three note hit instead of the one. So I'll just put that here and you'll hear the effect. You also have the ability to do a substep type one, which just puts in two, or uh, type three puts in four hits right there. You can also combine that with weak beats as well to make those quieter if you want. And you can get sort of your trap style hats program there. True to the original and one of the quirks of an 808 is that you can have toms or you can have congas, but not both. I guess you can mix them up, but if you want to switch to congas, you can switch these individual switches to the conga sounds. You also have between the rim shot and the clave sound that you can choose as well. Hand claps and maracas are also one or the other. But the cool thing is in the sequencer mode, you'll see that as I switch one of these, like look at the low tom when I switch this to conga, it switches the line right here. However, if you're programming in your Digital Audio Workstation MIDI editor, there are separate MIDI notes for each of the sounds. Now, if you would like to try the Rolling Cloud version of the TR-808 plugin, you can try it for free for a month if you register at the Rolling Cloud site. Then after that, there is a monthly fee to use that along with all of the other instruments that are available there. I believe you can also purchase it if you'd like as well. The TR-909 is also available and it works in a very similar way. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in another video very soon.